trip to the foul line. So you see it showing evidence right there as Armstead wants to look low. Jones says no. J.K. in the game now. Jeremy King, the gentleman penetrating to the baseline. Ball knocked out of bounds. You talk about energy off the bench. Jeremy King is instant energy. Scott High School alum. And folks, we do have several young men on this basketball team from our hometown. And here's one of them right now handling the basketball. It's Lionel Armstead. He wants to go to the basket, and his shot is swatted that time by Dave Myers. It's going to stay with the ice. But when you're struggling on your jump shot, you take the ball to the basket. And that's what Lionel does in this situation. He goes strong to the hole, trying to get himself on the free throw line. Important to note that the block comes from the help defense. His uh, man up defender looked like he was in a little trouble. <laughs> so he needed that help. 4.30 to play here, first quarter. Detroit wheels with possession. Here's a pull up, three. Shaw will not fall. Jones with the ball. Here's Black. This fella with a strong rebound, pulling it down. Black will call the offense. Out top to Armstead. Sends it over to Jeremy King. King, fake. He wants to go to the basket. He does just that. Right hand off the window. Doesn't go. Rebound to Shaw. Here comes the push right up the floor. Acker. No good. Bottom of the backboard is not the place you want to put the ball. You want to go in that orange cylinder up there, but nevertheless, they'll stay here. Good defense by Doobie Black getting back. Making that a very difficult scoring opportunity. With another stoppage in play. Timeout will allow us to break once again, folks. It's Toledo Ice basketball, and it's cold. Thank you for joining us, Toledo, Ohio. Welcome back to the Seagate Center. Toledo Ice, Detroit Wheels on the basketball floor. 13 to 12 is your score. It is early here, first quarter action. 3.54 to play as the Wheels will take possession. Coming off the timeout into the ball game for the ice right now is Mr. Aaron Bates, number seven in your program. We have a momentary pause though. A conference here at the scorer's table. Something going on with the scoreboard, trying to get this, synchronize these clocks. It seems to be a second differential, and I think they just fixed it. Well, do we have anything to keep the game moving? I tell you. <laughs> This is uh, definitely an official's timeout. You like that. You get an extra rest. If you're, well, a, player, if you're hey, a player, you love it. Yeah, you, you get love to catch it. You get that extra longer here. And we're running it down. Well, with that, while they have a pause, it gives us an opportunity to thank one of our wonderful sponsors. BCSN would not be possible, folks, without great community partners like National so thank you to the folks at National City for their support. We're Back all, in action now. All squared away with the clock situation. And into the game for Detroit is that man right there, Willie Mitchell. Someone to keep your eye on, folks. Number 23 for Detroit. Has a long career. Well, he has game, and he's played on a number of different fronts. 
former Michigan Wolverine. As you see the travel right here, they're going to call this on the ice. They're going to call hooking on Aaron Bates. Here come the Detroit wheel. Now with a one-point lead off the jumper from Mitchell, 14-13. And here's Paul Hayes trying to go to work. And actually, there's your travel right there. A little too much with the footsteps. And once again, the same thing he's done, trying to make the move before he puts the ball on the deck. Trying to put the move on the big fella. Armstead, he'll work against Shaw. The ice have really struggled. They've really gone cold here in the last three to four minutes. Stay down to base, who gives you an excellent pass across the defense to Jones, who finishes lovely. Here come the wheels again, 15-14, ice on top. How about the pass up high where the big fella could just catch it and go right to the basket? Yes, outstanding look there. Here's Mitchell again, fade away from the baseline. No good, staying with the board. Ice contesting every jump shot, no open jump shots. And here's Staten with the pull up again, and there is nothing but string on that. You might want to get out and, and guard him because this guy can flat out shoot it. And just when you get geared up for that, you may get the penetration to the basket. He's a deadly assassin. As we look here at Chris Acker. Chris Acker says, I have three. But no, he has nothing but the bottom of the backboard on that. Here comes Lionel Armstead. That's a very bad shot. You're a Detroit wheel fan. Can't be happy with that shot selection. Ball actually knocked out of bounds there on the, on the pass from Armstead, tipped out. See, Coach Newbert starting to utilize that bench. He's got a very deep bench to go down, get some of these players rotated in and out, try to wear down the wheels. Well, here we go again. Here's Armstead. He'll come off the screen from King. Kick out to the wing to Bates. Bates will penetrate right down the lane. Shot won't go, but there's a follow from J.K. Jeremy exactly. King. That's what I was talking about, how quick he gets off the floor. But how about the ice taking the ball to the basket? Saturday night, they were settling for jump shots. Now they're taking it to the rack. Right, exactly, sir. You see the difference. As we look here, Jake Beck on defense. He has entered the ball game, and he'll work against Hayes. And look at the excellent defense from Beck. Forces a terrible shot by Hayes. And here they come, the Toledo Ice looking to freeze the wheels. And oh, the shot will not go from Staten off the glass. Gonna call Staten with the, with the hold right there. I tell you, we've got Beck coming in, and Beck is coming to fruition as the Toledo stopper, defensive stopper, and he's come right in and locked down Hayes on that possession. We're into the ball game now for the ice. Number 21, Gamelli Ahaligba. 